He's been called the king of techtopia. Peter Thiel is one of Silicon Valley's most audacious and contrarian investors. He made his name founding PayPal, then funding Facebook. He's now backing rocket ships, DNA manipulation, meat grown in labs, and a startup island off the coast. He's paid kids to skip college and start companies instead in hopes of reaching a better future faster and building flying cars along the way. Joining me today on Studio 1.0, the bold and controversial venture capitalist and now author of a new book, Zero to One, Peter Thiel. Thank you. There's nothing that makes it impossible. You think that you may live to 120. I certainly hope to, yes. I know you've thought a lot about the extension of human life, and you think that you may live to 120. I certainly hope to, yes. What are you doing differently? Are you taking immortality pills, some super exercise regimen? I'm investing in a lot of biotechnology companies. I think on the nutrition side, the, uh, you know, there are some very basic things, I think, that can be done. Uh, you should not eat sugar. That's probably the one nutritional rule. Do you not eat sugar? I still eat some, but not, not as much as I used to. So what do you eat more of? And I'm on a, I'm, I'm on a, on a paleo-type diet. I don't think paleo gets you to 120. That's like the caveman diet doesn't get you to 120. But, but I, th I think you actually will need new technology, new innovation, for us to really have um, both longer and healthier lives. New technology, like what? We need to find cures for cancer, cures for Alzheimer's. We need to figure out ways to uh, restore organs when they're falling apart. Um, just you can go through all the different ways people's bodies break down. We need to figure out ways to reverse all of them. The main drastic thing that I'm doing is I'm on um, HGH, the human yeah. growth hormone stuff. On a daily basis. On a daily basis. Really? And I think. What is the benefit of that supposed to be? It's well, it, it helps um, maintain muscle mass, so you're much less likely to uh, to get like bone injuries, arthritis, stuff like that as you as you get older. And there's always a worry, does it increase your cancer risk? But that's the... But, um, but you're not concerned about that? I'm, I'm hopeful that we'll, have, we'll, we'll get cancer cured in the next decade. The